Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you the nine most effective kettlebell exercises that you should be doing to increase your strength, conditioning, and cardiovascular fitness. If you're someone like me who likes to train instead of work out, you're going to enjoy this kettlebell training. Let's get started. For each of these exercises, you want to do 10 to 12 reps of 3 sets. Rest for 2 minutes between each exercise. Farmer's walk is one of those exercises that people get wrong. Some people tend to carry two kettlebells or dumbbells on each hand. That's not very effective because the weight balances out. In my opinion, you should carry just one kettlebell on one hand and walk. Load one side of your body as if you're carrying your groceries. Extend your other hand out for balance. Walk as long as the space in your gym permits you, then turn around and switch hands. This exercise is great for strengthening and stabilizing your core. To get the benefit of this exercise, you have to really engage your core as you walk, else the kettlebell will pull you towards the weighted side. This exercise will really challenge your shoulder mobility and stability. It's a great rehab exercise if you have shoulder injuries. To perform this exercise, pick up the kettlebell from the floor. Hold it upside down as shown in the video. Then walk as far as the space in your gym permits you. Turn around and switch hands. Squatting is a foundational movement. It is a fundamental movement pattern that has many variations. In my opinion, you should learn how to do the goblet squat before squatting with a barbell. The goblet squat is done properly when you hold the kettlebell in front of you as you squat. It engages your lower back, abs and hip extensors. As you do this exercise, make sure you avoid bending your back. This will help you improve your posture if you've been sitting at a desk all day. This exercise will strengthen your core and tone up your legs. To perform this exercise, make sure your feet are in perfect shoulder width. Stand on top of the kettlebell. Go down to pick the kettlebell as if you are picking up something from the floor. As you go down, bend your knees slightly. On your way down, keep your back straight and head up as shown in the video. This exercise will improve your hip strength, mobility and overall leg strength. This exercise is one of the most unglamorous of exercises. You rarely see people do it because it looks stupid but it is crucial for full body strength and stability. The area you load up for this exercise, the more strength you will develop. To perform this exercise, start by lying on the floor. Turn sideways with the bell in one hand with the other hand on the floor. Then use the other hand and legs opposite sides for balance as you try to get up from the floor. Once you're up, you just reverse your movement. It's very hard to explain but do it as shown in the video. The kettlebell swing is one of the most powerful movements you can do with a kettlebell. It strengthens the entire backside of your body, your hamstring, glutes and core. To perform this exercise, stand with your feet slightly shoulder width with the kettlebell in front of you. Then reach down to pick up the kettlebell. Hold on to the kettlebell and start pushing it between your legs and drive it upwards in front of you. Make sure you drive the bell towards your shoulder length. When editing this video, I wasn't happy with my form so I refilmed the exercise to show you the proper way to do it. 
as you can see in the new video. Make sure you're using the right weight you can handle. As a beginner, you don't want to go too heavy just yet. For this exercise, you're going to use your full body, not just your shoulders, to press the bell overhead. This exercise allows you to involve the natural rotation of your shoulders during the movement. After picking up the kettlebell, make sure your wrist is facing up and keep a tight arm to avoid injuring your wrist. Let the bell rest on the side of your chest. This is called the rack position. Then gently drop the bell right between your legs and onto the floor. This exercise is similar to the previous one. Maintain the same stance and grip with the kettlebell. Pick up the kettlebell and rest it on the rack position. From this position, instead of stopping at the rack position like the previous exercise, you want to press the bell upwards in one fluid movement. It's important to keep your shoulders tight to your scapula as you press upwards. Then gently drop the bell right between your legs and onto the floor. And finally, the kettlebell snatch. The kettlebell snatch is great for strength training and fat burning. This exercise works your full body. To perform this exercise, start by standing on top of the bell. Then pick up the kettlebell and swing it upwards. At the top of the movement, push your hand overhead in one fluid motion. In the overhead position, you swing the kettlebell down forward between your legs. Just like the previous exercise, make sure the kettlebell load isn't too heavy. Once you're done, that's it. Those are the 9 most effective kettlebell exercises for building strength, conditioning and burning fat. Give it a try and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please, if you enjoyed this video and you've learned something from it, don't forget to like it. Please click that like button, please, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.